بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو ٹوڈے ان دس لیسن ان دس لیکچر ویل بگن ود چیپٹر دی ورک فیز بٹ بفور گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دس یونٹس آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو انفارم یو ڈیٹ ایز وی ہیو کمپلیٹڈ دا لاسٹ چیپٹر سو یو ہیو سیلف ٹیسٹ ایٹ دی اینڈ آف دس چیپٹر یو کین سی ہیئر سو پلیز ٹرائی ٹو کمپلیٹ دس سیلف ٹیسٹ پورشن سو ڈیٹ یو کین ریوائز اور ریمائنڈ یور پریویس نالج اور یو کین Uh, know where you are standing and how much knowledge you have gained from the last unit so uh, that was about your assignment so now moving to the next chapter that is the work phase so contents here the contents we will go through from in this unit that would be introduction to verbs auxiliary verbs tenses and again chapter portion will be there at the end so here begin with introduction to verbs what is verbs introduction to tenses pers- per- person commas verbs so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot to know about verbs this section will explain some areas of the use of verbs and introduce others which will then be expanded on in later section so what is verb definition of verb a verb is a word that describes activities a verb is a word that describes activities processes states of being and states of mind so a verb can be a single word or a group of associated words verb phrase verbs are classified according to how they are used in a clause or clause as either main verb or auxiliary verb a simple verb consists of a single word a compound verb is made by combining an auxiliary verb and a main verb main verb a main verb a main verb is sometimes called a doing verb most verbs are main verb and they are used to indicate actions or states main verbs can be classified in several ways into verbs that refer a uh, refer to states and verbs that refer to action into verbs that are followed by an object transitive verbs and those that are not in transitive verbs regular and irregular verbs according to how the forms of the verb are constructed only the regular irregular classification will be exp- explained further in a later section you will not need knowledge of other two for this so actually he is talking about a uh, exam related to that discipline so auxiliary verbs these verbs are combined with main verbs in order to describe different times or periods of time different degrees of completion and degrees of certainty or doubt so he is adding tenses as well uh, so we'll uh, go through it later first we will focus on only verb so forms of verb the base form of verb is the word that is normally found in a dictionary main verbs have up to 5 main forms these base form and four other forms which are derived from the base form the base form can be combined with the word to for example to jump to walk etc the form the infinitive The infinitive is constructed from a verb but acts as another part of speech. For example, in the sentence, I like to read, the phrase to read, the infinitive is acting as a noun. Regular verbs. Most verbs are regular. This means that the different forms of the verb are all formed in the same way from the base form. The following table shows the five forms of the verb including the base form note how each of the other forms is derived from the base driving forms of regular verbs from the base form like jump is a base form then jumps third person singular jumping present participle jumped simple past tense jumped past participle walk walk walking walk walk so in this present tense the base form is used in every person except third person singular i jump you jump he jumps we jump 
यू जम दे जम दिस सिंपल फास्ट टेंस इज यूज इन एवरी पर्सन आई जम यू जम ही जम वी जम यू जम दे जम The third person singular is formed by adding the letter s to the base form as a psi modification to the third person singular of any verb in ending in c h o s h s s x z or z z is formed by adding e s to the base form. Example: Driving forms of regular verbs ending in c h O S H S S X Z or Z Z form the base form. Push, pushes, pushing, pushed, pushed, miss, misses, missing, missed, missed. Also, uh, also note that the third person singular of any verb, regular or irregular, ending in Y is formed by changing the Y to I and ending E S. For example, fly becomes flies. Another modification to the basic approach: consonant verbs ending in a short vowel in front of a consonant. Consonant. In such cases, the consonant is double when forming the participle and simple past tense. Prime form of regular verbs ending in a short vowel before a consonant. Sob, sobs, sobbing, sobbed, sobbed. So. question and question are formed using doers and the base form of the verb negative using doers and and base form the verb questions and negative of regular verb statement i jump he jumps question do i jump does he jump negative i don't jump he doesn't jump so for this separate thing we will discuss later irregular verb Irregular verbs have different relationships between the other forms and the base form. These different differences are mostly found in the formation of the present participle, the simple past tense, and the past participle. The degree of irregular varies. Unfortunately, there are no rules to describe this. Each verb has to be learned. In the following table, the irregular form of each verb are highlighted: put, puts, putting, put, put. Buy, buys, buying, bought, bought, go, goes, going, went, gone. So here you can find some differences in the forms, like simple past tense and past first person. You normally we used to say second form, third form. So simple past tense or past person, you can find differences. So that is irregular. Okay. So some verbs have more than five forms. For example, the irregular verb B has eight forms. A list of common irregular verbs. Verb is given on the next page, so you can find here so many forms. Please go through from that. This is all about our uh, lecture about verb. So please go through all these these things. So for this lecture, that's all. For next, we'll move to next. Inshallah. Thanks for your presence. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.